Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my makeup routine with you guys. Now my makeup routine is actually quite very simple. I like to keep my skin nice, fresh and dewy. I like my lips to be nice and matte and my eyes to be nice and dry and obviously defined brows. Who doesn't love that, right? Um, I will also be sharing few uh, makeup products which I love. Even though I might not be using it, I will still share it with you guys. And if I find any alternative with me, I will show that as well. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video and let's dive into it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna start prepping my skin uh, using this L'Oreal's Hydro Fresh All Day Hydrating Deep Boosting Essence. Now I have spoken about this in my skincare video and I love this product so 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 much. It's just that it's very difficult to get your hands on um, but I still love it. I'm still using it. A generous amount of this and your skin is nice and hydrated all day long. And then I'm going to prep my lips with this Elizabeth Arden 8R, or 8R cream. This is the original 8R cream. Now you can use old school Vaseline or any favorite lip balm of yours. It doesn't really matter. I just have this nearest to me. And I tend to use this quite often. I will then apply some eye cream. This is from L'Oreal. This is just going to help my concealer blend underneath my eyes really effortlessly and plus it will hydrate my under eye as well so yeah now you don't have to do all of these steps just because i am doing it you can do steps which you are comfortable doing and which you prefer for your routine it's completely okay for my base, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now, the reason I'm going for this today is because I need a bit of coverage around here. But I'm going to use a very little quantity and blend it well so that my skin does not look heavy at all. Now, foundation totally depends up on my base. Uh, sorry, on my mood. God, what's wrong with me? Um, at times, I use tinted moisturizers like... Um, these two right here this is from the balm um, it's called balm shelter and this is from urban decay it's called one and done i might even use mac foundation such as face and body from mac or Watergate foundation um, so it basically depends on how my skin feels and how much coverage my skin needs uh, when my skin feels completely all right as if i don't need to do anything to my skin i would just use the concealer just cover my under eye and set the rest of my face with the translucent powder and that's what my really base is but today uh, since I need a bit of coverage I'm going for makeup forever foundation now I rarely use beauty blenders um, but I think they give a very good finish but somehow I just prefer using my tools over beauty blender because at times it's a bit time consuming so being very light handed with my foundation then for my concealer I am using Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer this is in the shade um, medium light now I generally use pack one it's just that I want to use this today I love this I love the consistency I love the way it blends so I'm gonna use this today but the pack one is my recent favorite. I've been using this, uh, the pack one for, for quite a while now. NYX Photogenic Concealer is also very similar to the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Concealer. So you can replace this one for this. So they both are equally good. trying to do as much as I can with the beauty blender so that I don't have to use a lot of tools. Now generally I like to keep my tools very minimum when I'm doing my makeup. I just like to um, use one brush for multiple purpose. 
I am then gonna powder my under eye before it starts creasing and I'm using Makeup Forever HD powder. Um, you can use LA Gold Pro powder. Again, quite a dupe for the Makeup Forever one. So they both are actually quite similar. They're finely milled and they just mattify and give like a smooth texture to your skin. So you just swipe it up. Then using uh, Bahama Mama from the Balm Cosmetics. I'm just going to slightly contour and bronze at the same time. So I'm just trying to give some color to my face here or some dimension. But not like a prominent contour. I don't go for contouring uh, when I'm doing my um, everyday makeup. To be honest, it just does not really feel um, quite natural. Coming to the cheeks, I'm using this Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks from Bobbi Brown. This is the one that I got with um, the moisturizer that I got some of us. So this is the mini size of um, the lip and cheek color. And this is in the shade Blush Rose. It's such a beautiful everyday um, color. I love it. And I'm using a brush just to buff this into my skin. Actually, don't need too much. This is just way too much. Now, I really like to put a lot of emphasis on my eyes by putting a lot of mascara. And today, I'm using this Lancome's Grandiose Extreme Mascara. Now, if you don't want to use this, uh, two or other of my favorite is from Maybelline. I love Maybelline mascaras. This one is Last Sensational. You guys know it. I love it. And other one is this Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. This too is a very good mascara. It gives amazing volume. But people who don't like lumpy lashes, I would say don't go for this. Go for Last Sensational Mascara. It is absolutely brilliant. I love it. Just trying not to block my mascara. Because I always, always, always get my mascara on my lids so I'm just trying my best to avoid it I love a good coat of mascara so I'm gonna take my own time to do my lashes after doing my mascara on top lash line I'm just gonna use this pencil from MAC and it's called Risk it's a nice nude eye pencil and I'm just going to run that on my waterline. This will just help whiten up my eyes a little. I'm not using white because white will just make it look too thick. So I'm using like a nude eye pencil. And then taking this NYX Skinny Mascara which I love. For my lower lash line. I'm just going to do my lower lash line with this. And now it's time to do my brows. And for my brows, I'm going to use two products. One is this Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Now, I like to keep my stuff in their boxes. I don't know, I just love to preserve them. So it's in the box. Out. So I like to use pencil and my Anastasia Debra Pomade which I absolutely love and I adore and I use it every single time. I'm going to start with the pencil and draw in my desired shape. Filling them in. And I would just generally do it this much. I wouldn't do too much. Actually, let's keep it this much. Let's not use the pomade. Let's just fill the brows just with a pencil. I think it's much easier. Much faster. 
just trying not to make my la um, eyebrows too thick. And then taking this Benefit What's Up um, Glow Stick and I'm just going to put that on top of my cheekbone. So this will be like the first step towards adding the highlighter. My lipstick today again there is no particular um you know shade that i stick to i just use lipstick one thing i do is i use a matte lipstick um mainly a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick and i am generally nowadays into very movie nude shades so today i'm going to use this retro matte liquid lip color in the shade um somi which is a nice mauve um sort of color now again, there is no fixed color that I stick to. It all depends on my mood. Uh, it's just that I stick to a matte texture or maybe a liquid lipstick. Lastly, for my highlighter, I'm using a mixture of Soft and Gentle by MAC and Becca opal again these two are my favorite but another of my favorite ones are um, makeup revolutions baked highlighter i love this highlighter but it's actually very pigmented and it's quite goldy let's see how pigmented this is it's a little chunky but i think we can get over it i love this another one is again from uh, makeup revolution and it's called skin kiss in golden kiss and it's huge for the price you pay and then it's absolutely beautiful and you can see how pretty this color is where do i swatch it i'm just gonna swatch it down here this one it's very pretty and i love the quantity i love it another two of my favorite is this merry luminizer from the balm obviously everyone loves this and another one is cindy luminizer which is more like a blush than a highlighter it's like a blush topper so it gives like a nice glow on your cheeks on the apples uh, this is not supposed to be put on your um, um, cheekbone it won't really give that shine but it's more like a blush topper. so I love that too um, yeah so these are like my favorites start with soft and gentle as my base highlighter You can use soft and gentle as your eyeshadow also. It just works amazing as an eyeshadow too. I'm going to top my highlighter with a bit of opal. I'm just putting it right below my soft and gentle. And to blend, I'm using the same brush I used to apply my blush. Brush, blush. Just ignore me, but anyway, just need to blend it so that we don't have a layer sitting on, but just blend it into our skin. So, yes, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Uh, it's actually quite a simple uh, makeup look to do, quite easy uh, look to do. Um, all the products that I've used are my favorites. Obviously, they are a bit high end, but you can always replace it with the products that you prefer or which you like. Um, nowadays, there are so many different products available in the market that you don't really have to use the same ones that I use. Uh, you'll always find an alternative for it. So yes, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Um, and if you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more weekly videos. And if you have anything to say, whether it's a comment, feedback, request, anything that you'd like to say, just leave it down in the comment section below. It is always a pleasure to read your comments and I love the way you guys are supporting. Um, it really means a lot. So thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Till then, bye-bye and take care.